Hi guys, welcome back to the 401 Files. It's an absolute pleasure to be joined by so many like-minded people from all around the world. Now, if you are new here, please do subscribe, comment in the box below, that's what it's there for. Please keep it positive. And um, yeah, this video today is going to be about social media. What I would like to do during this video is dive into the minds of the masses because I wanna hear back from you guys to see if you feel the same way that I feel, or is this just me? Am I the only one experiencing this? Over the last two, two or three years, I've noticed, as I'm sure that many of you have, videos emerging on Facebook, Instagram, and other social media platforms that are advertised as, say, a cute dog on a sofa, or, you know, I can't believe my mum did this. And then you open it, and it's actually child abuse, or domestic violence, or a video clip of terrorists wiping out 20 people in a synagogue. And it turns your stomach. Rightfully so, it turns your stomach, you're disgusted, you're repulsed, and you assume that the comment section will be up in arms. Everybody down there in the comments will be going crazy. Everyone will be disgusted. So you go down to read the comments and you find that there are sympathizers. People that don't actually feel negatively towards what they've just seen. And in fact, they sympathize with the abusers that have been shown in the footage. I want to know if you guys have, have experienced this. Why is this happening? Like, why now all of a sudden does it seem like the masses, slowly but surely, are becoming immune to such disgusting content. Now, you're going to get people that say, yeah, but just turning a blind eye to this stuff and, and ignoring it completely doesn't mean that it's not happening. Maybe we should be showing this so we know how lucky we are. And I get that. I totally get that. But there is a group of people who get paid a lot of money. They go through a lot of high-tech professional training to deal with content like that to go out and fight issues like that. I don't believe that it's meant for places like Facebook where the average everyday user who doesn't necessarily want to, I mean, we all know about these problems around the world, right? We all know about child abuse and domestic violence and terrorism, we all know about this stuff. And that's why we have designated teams of professionals trained and qualified to go out there and tackle these inhumane creatures. We don't need to be showing it on Facebook, Instagram and other places like that. I guess my conversation with you guys today is, are we becoming immune slowly to such negativity? Because the comments would suggest that we are. And my worry is that in the next 20 years, will 99.9% 99 .9 of the comments be in favour of this kind of behaviour? You know, it's, it's a weird one. It's, it's, it's weird to think about because, you know, I can't even believe that I'm having this conversation. It's just something that crossed my mind yesterday and I was reading through the comments and I thought, you know what, this isn't the first video that I've seen that's been absolutely disgusting. And the comments are almost promoting this behaviour. They're almost sympathetic towards the abuser. It's not the first video and it's probably, you know one of many more that I will see in the future because they just seem to be coming more thick and thick and fast as the days go by. What I'm saying, guys, is this. There is shit going on in the world. There are wars, there are child abusers, there are rapists, murderers, you name it, we all know it exists. But let's not fall for the trap. Let's not start becoming those people that sympathise. Let's not start becoming those people that glorify this kind of behaviour. Because the world in 20, 30 years from now will be a very worrying place. And I've got children that will be entering that world, mingling with some of those sympathisers in the comments section. And I'm sure that you guys do as well. But is this some kind of a social experiment? You know, was the internet always laid out? And was the path of the internet already planned? You know, we'll create this amazing thing which will connect people around the world. And we'll start off with it being a positive thing. But over time, we'll drip feed negativity onto these different platforms. We'll allow people to consume these videos and these photos and audio recordings. And we'll just see. We'll see what people's reaction is over time after doing this for a period of time. I don't know if that was an experiment, if that was the mindset of the internet creators. I'm not sure if it... I don't know if it was. But it wouldn't surprise me because experiments like that have been done forever. You can go to the Cold War, you can go to World War II, or even times before then, where people have been, um, 
you know, they've been placed in front of a TV screen and physically forced to watch negative images just so they could study the impact that that has on the human brain. And I think that Stranger Things does a great job of showing this. You know, when, when you look at Hawkins' laboratory, there are shots during Stranger Things where the kids are being force-fed information because they're trying to crack parts of the brain so they, then they can remould over those cracks and create new pathways based on what they want the child to do. Is that what's happening now with social media? Is that what's happening now with humanity? There's always two sides to every story. But let's make sure that we don't start putting a weird spin on everything and playing devil's advocate wherever we can just for the sake of it. Because in time, if that carries on and, and enough people do it, the norm, the go-to will be that we sympathise with everything that is negative. And that is not a world that is going to pan out well. As always, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure, as I always say. Please, wherever you are in the world, look after yourselves, stay safe. And if you are in a position to do so, then please, 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 please do look after somebody else as well. Because remember, it's those people that don't always ask for help that need it the most. Until next time, guys, stay safe. And I'll see you on the next one.